All right. Hey guys, and welcome to Star Wars Wednesdays with me, Sith Lama, playing once again Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, one of the best Star Wars RPGs ever made. So, without it further ado, let's jump right back into it. When we left off last time. Yeah. Oh, why am I getting... Oh, right. Because my companions are busy fighting people without me over there. Uh, when we left off last time, I was naked for... I don't remember why. I'm sure there was a good reason. I just don't remember what it was. But I'm sure it was a good reason. Uh, anyway, we had come to the Crystal Cave here so that we can maybe change our lightsaber away from this disgusting green that totally doesn't fit our personality in any way. It's really horrible and I wish we didn't have to deal with it. But yeah, we finally got off Terrace. Yes! Thank God, because uh, that was horrific and I never want to go through that again. Uh, and we got companions that are actually not, we got companions that are actually not good guys, which is also nice for once. Okay. And we finally, we've also finally started our true, true journey down the path of the dark side. Sorry for all the pop-ups, guys. I'm having to adjust my audio on the fly. This game records very jankily, if I'm honest. But I think we cleared it out. Not much to this cave. I mean, yeah, that's the whole thing. Second game, this cave is way more extensive. Uh, the Kenrath must have dug new tunnels in the intervening years. Anyway, uh, we're here. There are these various crystal formations, and also we can sometimes find crystals inside Kenrath eggs. Like that. Items received, and I guarantee it was crystals. But we won't really know what we found until... We finish, and I check. Because it just says, item received, and says, You have acquired a lightsaber crystal. Good. But there's really nothing that could be worse than this green that we've got. I mean, even blue. No, actually, I take that back. Blue would be just as bad. But there is very little that could be as bad as this uh, green that we have. Getting good luck on the Kinrath eggs. I can't remember if this game in this game if they are guaranteed crystals. No, they're not, because that one gave us luck. Shouldn't have called out the luck, because I clearly jinxed it. But we got pretty good luck in the first bit, so even if our luck has turned, it was still pretty good. Come on. Crystal. Whoa! I was not over here a second ago. I wonder what Candrus and Big Z think of this. Really. I mean, come in here, murder a bunch of weird... I don't even know what to call Kenrath. I guess alien insects. Oh. Then just pick up a bunch of rocks. Wow, I missed the egg. I, I missed the egg again. What the heck is happening? Alright, that was ridiculous. Whoop. Clicked out the win side the window. Okay. I think we've cleared it out. 
Doesn't seem to be any more pop-ups for things to interact with. So let's see what we got. Blue, green, red. I like red. Bondar. Rubat. Got a yellow. That's okay. I'll probably go red. Very classic Sith. I'll switch later. But that won't be for a while. Also, if uh, chat has a particularly strong preference for a uh, particular color, I might switch for that. No purple this time. I often get a purple crystal in here. Um, I think... I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be... Um, clearing out the grove. Right. That's gonna be hard. Well, I guess we can try. No time like the present. Oh, did I... I did. Oh, hello! You weren't here a second ago. Alright. The problem with this fight... ...is I'm not gonna have a lot of help. Oh, hello, Mandalorians! Uh, I forgot you were here. Be horrified. Come on. Stop resisting. There we go. Resistance is futile. Is totally the wrong universe. I mean, get crucified by some ludicrously hardcore Taurus fan, even more of a hardcore than me, for bringing Star Trek into this game. But I think I can just cut across over here. Those those guys aren't following me, are they? No, okay. The, uh, my guys are, but the can't, the cat hounds over there are not. Who's who's fighting me? Oh, I take it back. They were f following me. Sure. Okay. Now let's save again. Let's go try this. I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try. Got an energy shield. We're going to need that. Now, mostly I'm just not sure we're going to win this fight at all right now, but secondary thing I'm not sure about, we're going to have a choice at the end of this fight about whether we recruit Juhani or kill her. Here's my dilemma. On the one hand, she's a Jedi Guardian, which is to say she's a melee Jedi and I think maybe the only one we get. I can't remember, but I think maybe the only one we get. And that's awesome and super helpful from a gameplay perspective. However, recruiting her means saving her and bring her, bringing her back over to the light side. Which is a light side action, which my character would never do. Man, I don't know. Let's see how this goes first. Yeah, you're not actually that strong, if I'm honest. Okay, let's see if 
maybe there's a non light side way of getting her to come back. I haven't. I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is okay. the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. And now I'll take it from. I mean, that's clearly the dark side option, but. You were a Jedi a then? Jedi than you will ever be. More powerful as well, for I could best my teacher. When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. She sounds like some sort of teenage... Like... Some teenager throwing a fit, honestly. What is it you want? Why do you bother? I, I laugh at her pathetic attempt to kill me. I was sent by the council to cleanse the taint from this grove. The council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? I wasn't really ordered to kill you. I'm trying to, like... I'm trying to find a way that doesn't end up with me getting light side points. Because I, I do want her in my... If I have to get the light side points, I'll just do it. And I'll, like, cheese some dark side points later. I know a way. Thinking of using technicalities to do the deed? And ease your conscience? Act or be gone. Huh. Interesting. I can just walk around now. Well, nice thing about this is, I suppose, I can use it to he as time to heal up, if nothing else. Now I just have to wait for my force points to come back in case I end up having to fight. I don't want to fight her, though. Fuck! I hate this. Is it you want? Why do you bother me? Don't buy comfort for Okay. Uh, I have no desire to kill you. Lies. Leave me. Lies. I could just try and see if I can keep the... trying to Lies. roll this persuade check. Lies. The... Lies. I mean, I think it is theoretically possible. You do not. I am pathetic. I sit here and think myself to be great. Hey, I got it. In the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back. Were jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Maybe you shouldn't have been a Jedi, then. They came to me. They sought me out. So it is their failure that I have fallen. Come back when you have something more meaningful to say. God damn it, I don't want to be a good guy. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? Why are you doing this? And dark power courses through my veins. I can never go back to the council. So here, I shall stay. Talk. I just want to talk. You who have beaten me so easily just want to talk? I do not believe it. Kill me now while you still have the power. Oh, God, I'm going to have to be a good guy and I hate it. Ah, uh, fuck. Alright, fine. I do not hold anger towards you, Johnny. I wish not you peace. anger. Peace. Yet even with your naive attitude, you managed to beat me. I am pathetic. I, I always thought... They already said that stuff. Standards cannot apply to everyone. What? Oh, what foolishness is this? Standards are made to apply to everyone. And if I cannot measure up to them, well then I am no one at all. Leave me. Fuck, alright. 
What? Why are you even thinking like this? Because I am right. That's why. I can see the truth in your eyes as well. Do not look at me. Ah, oh, fuck. I am. I, I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. I seem to still have much to learn. Both about being a Jedi and about myself. <sighs> but I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. Life is but a learning experience. Does not have to end in death. It was I who hurt her. I who killed her. Her suffering is my fault alone. Leave me to my pain. Oh god damn it. Do not I only wish how can the council ever take me back with Okay, what ah uh... the council may I am lost. Leave me. All right, come on. It is. It leave. I do not. It. It. I do not. I only. If I should convince them that I am true, maybe. Just do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I've done? The council may forgive a lot. I am lost. Leave me. Oh God damn it! Do I have to keep I persuading? The council may for. I am leave. How can I ever? I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Yeah, you will, but fucking... Oh, thank God, no light side points. I managed to finally get somehow get through that without light side points. I didn't even know I could that that was possible. All right. Um Take drain life. Cuz it's better than healing. Level up big C. Level up Candrus. Okay, um, I'm going to return to the Ebon Hawk because I have a work station on board and I can fix my fucking green lightsaber. Also, maybe I'll try talking to people. Alright, fix this damn thing. Red. Uh, stun. Well, I've only got two kinds, so not much choice there. All right, everything seems to be in order there. And look, finally! Fuck, look how awesome that is. Aw, oh, yeah. Finally starting to look like a Sith yeah, up here. Do you have any more war stories? I was one of the best youth warriors in the clan Ordo in my time. No one before me had mastered the power of our basilisk war droids as quickly as I had. Except Mandalore himself, of course. In those days, we were sweeping across the Outer Rim, destroying all who fought us. Young Mandalores would prove themselves in real combat with unknown opponents above a thousand worlds. Each brought back stories of his achievements. I would have harnessed that power sooner than you. We were still recovering from the war we fought with the Sith. We were not yet strong enough to fight the Republic again. We needed to train another generation to do that. <laughs> we would travel from world to world and descend on it in our basilisk war droids. 
I still remember my first combat. I remember it well, orbiting high above a placid world, its defenses just stirring. As was tradition, I would go ahead of the first wave to find enemies in the thickest fighting. I remember sitting there in my armor, linked directly with a basilisk thrumming beneath me, my heart racing with fear of the coming battle. Fear? Yeah. <laughs> Some Mandalorian you were. Every new warrior has to fear to understand how to beat it. You must know that. The doors opened in front of me, and the air was sucked out of the drop bay, scattering crystals of frozen vapor across my path. I can't describe what it feels like to look directly down at a world, falling continuously as you circle it, with barely 15 centimeters of armor plate protecting you. When the magnetic locks disengaged 15. on that's a lot of armor plate. I plunged out of the drop bay towards the battle that waited below. Ugh, those droids are awesome. I want a basilisk. The exhilaration, the euphoria I felt as I streaked into the atmosphere, dodging self-guided projectiles and beam weapons was unmatched. An 80-kilometer plunge through the atmosphere, dodging and weaving, the outside of my armor glowing like the sun with the heat of re-entry. And with barely 30 meters to spare, I twisted and skimmed the surface, firing at the giant beam generators that were in my path. The explosion from that sent shock waves that leveled the entire complex around it. It was the moment of my life. That sounds awesome. I want... I just said that, actually. I want a Basilisk War Droid. I'll never forget those times. But things are different now. We can't go on fighting the way we did. There are too few of us left now. But I really don't want to talk about this anymore. I trust I've satisfied your curiosity for now. Is there something else you want to know? Um, uh, not right now. That's good. Your ch All right. Uh, T3 doesn't have anything to say, neither does Zalbar. Mission might? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure mission... We've exhausted her dialogue. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there, and now it's... It's... It's just gone. Terrace is a wasteland. Get over it, you whiny baby. What? How can you be so cruel? Millions of people dead, and all you can say is get over it? Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just, it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess... That's what it comes down to. So don't yep. worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Good. Do you have anything what useful to say? I'm talk about you, brother. Sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. What did she do to my you? My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay. I so much so don't Lena care. And ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. Nice. But Lena was used to dating rich Teresa nice going, and Griff. nobles. Guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. You mean no matter how much he stole? I'm not going to pretend Griff wasn't a hustler and a con artist, but that doesn't mean you can just insult him. He did what he did to look out for me. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. Sounds like you're jealous, whiny little baby. I saw Lena for what she really was, a busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were going to try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me, and we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. 
I don't even know where he went. Uh, sounds like he deserted you. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff butt good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know sure. I would probably never see Not him. like he just wanted to get rid of you as much I as I do. I hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Not a thing, because you are totally okay. worthless and Not I hate you. Way. You're a whiny little teenager, and I wish I didn't have you around. Alright, let's go talk to Karth, maybe. I don't think Bastil is here. Nope. Hey, it's the galaxy map. We can travel around to planets from here. But we can't right now. Yes, what's on your mind? I want to discuss something with you. Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? I want to talk about these issues you seem to have with me. I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you or being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. And what exactly are you watching me for? I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I, well, it won't happen again. That's all. I'm to get pretty tired of this attitude of yours. Yeah, well, you wouldn't be the first. Look, I don't expect you to be my friend. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. And, right, and how am I supposed to know that you won't betray us? Me. Why not, you? Accusing other people is a good cover for a traitor. It's actually very true. I don't remember ever saying anything about a traitor. All I mean is that if you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastila, and especially not yourself. Uh, so you don't... Uh, I didn't ask for your advice. <laughs> honest. Let's be honest here. I didn't ask for your advice, nor do I need I it. I don't need all these questions. What I do need is to try and save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. Fine. But we're not done with this, Karth. Alright. Let's make our way back to the council, I suppose. Running around naked is pretty weird. I'd really like to put some clothes on, but unfortunately I don't think there's anything that I can use available for sale. I mean, I guess I should check. The problem is because now I'm a Jedi, I need robes. No, I guess I could buy some clothes, as stupid as that is. At least I wouldn't be naked. Huh, apparently he'll pay me a bunch for some crystals. Awesome. Let's dump these uh, random colors that I don't care about. Whole bunch of reds. Not sure. Apparently agreeing to that is dark side. Huh. Well, alright. I apologize for having skipped that dialogue then. I didn't realize it was going to be something new. Having literally just spoken to him. I think she has... Oh, there's Juhani. Uh, I don't really care about talking to either of them. I just want to go see if maybe... 
Well, you know what? I'll talk to Juhani and maybe Belaya just in case there's some dark side conversation options that I'm not remembering. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to the Council. To the council and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. That seems pretty harsh. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. You can't expect to get everything handed to you on a silver platter. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide, you, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy, and she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. <coughs> Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Yes. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. Thank you. I do not know what the council has Finally, someone to. says what we're all thinking. I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Alright, well, I didn't really get a chance to say anything. You have done a great thing. One of our own had strayed, but you have returned Juhani to the Order. For this, you deserve the highest praise. Oh, alright. Not really my intention. I actually, if if we do kill Juhani, she actually goes and becomes a Dark Jedi and we can kill her later. Which I really enjoy because she's sort of a stuck-up bitch. But, uh, I, would, I want Juhani. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified. And Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because hey, of purple. You, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss. Hope what you're you having a good day or night, depending Juhani on. I don't know where you are. And true to the ideals of the order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her. I've got a red lightsaber now, by the way. Finally got rid of that nasty green. And it seems to have made its point. Johanny has been redeemed, and you have passed your final And test. I passed some test, I guess. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our <laughs> Order. Yep, woo! I'm also not naked anymore, which is kind of nice. See? Wow! Let me, let me see if I can... Here's what I need. I want to get a good angle on this. Me. Yeah. I look very badass now. I'm down with that. Hey, Basila. Still naked, I see. It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorak recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. Did he now? This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi yep, I've seen it already. But he has not returned. 
Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. No problem, Purple. Good to ha have you now. Uh, I think I'll be going now. Ahead will be difficult for young Bastila, and for you, but you must draw strength from each other. I'll draw something from her. Be with you. Oh snap! I went there. I demand. Yeah, justice. jazz hands. The central family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for which, nothing but Which talk. of the many bullshit quests so long uh, I that I'm on right own. now do you, uh, are you talking about? Darth Malak and the Sith may be. We Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into his son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to invest. I mean, I honestly kind of like the end. Okay, here's the thing, though. I like the end of it when you go full dark side. It's actually hysterical. I have more Your important things to do. Training are important, of course. But the, the actual quest is bullshit, order. but the ending is pretty our funny. Influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. No, that sucks, Purple. Its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. Hi, Basila. Still not wearing anything. I'm here. I'm just gonna auto-level you, because you're not staying in my party. I like how it says, she is required at this time, and then as soon as you get out of the cutscene, you can take her out. Yay! No Bastilo. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Have fun, then. Let's see. I don't think there's anything else to do right now. Except... Oh, I still have that guy on the bridge. I skipped him earlier. I should go do him. Oh, yeah! I, I can turn this in! My oh, this will be fun. Still missing. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. Jeez, lady, you got problems. Your droid escaped. There's nowhere to be found. He's still out there somewhere. <laughs> I must find him. Oh, that feels good. Well, I got rid of her forever. Dangerously unstable. Yeah, no, that sounds like me. Dangerously unstable. That was actually a pretty good dark side bump right there. Let's see. I'll go this way for now. And I should really get force speed because I'm tired of being slow. Where am I? Oh, this is the Metale grounds, isn't it? I missed some remains over here? Absolutely purple. I'm plan on being as evil as possible. 
I just told her that her droid's still out there having murdered him last time. She will never find him. <laughs> and yeah, no, seriously. Uh, I actually think that's fantastic, personally. Because sometimes you get to be a dick in the most entertaining way possible. I haven't ever done this before. We're gonna say my weapons are my authority. And don't think I wouldn't enjoy blowing you to bits. I am programmed not to respond to threats until attacked directly. I have been programmed to defend myself accordingly. But even if I am terminated, another will take my place. You will also, I'll say this, Adrandrian. I don't know that it's necessarily for no reason. If they're weak and wimpy beings, clearly they deserve to have misery heaped upon them. This is private property. You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location until he arrives. This is going to be a slightly hard choice, because on the one hand, this guy's going to offer me money, and I could really use the money. On the other hand... I love the dark side ending of this. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the No, exactly. I was I'm improving I the species of the galaxy well, by weeding out the bitchy, the wimpy, the useless like specimens that I come across. Uh why are you so certain sandals in years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine. To escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, it's a noble calling, really, if we're honest. And they have been a plague upon my house ever since. They should the thank me. The injustices the Sandrals have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. Hmm. What happened to the My droids? Own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. Well, you know, at least you're efficient. Relatively noble. Incident, from Shen, a certain point of view. Heir to the Metali estate vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Where can I find Follow the Sandals? Stink south of here, and you shall find them. I demand action on this matter, Jedi. Why does the Council insist on Nice evil stalling? laugh, Purple. The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandrals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. Make it 2,000, you have a deal. 2,000? Your greed is outstripped only by your utter lack of any sense of proportion, Jedi. For that price, I could purchase enough droids to destroy the entire Sandral estate. 2,000 is out of the question. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand An evil laugh Shen's is important return. to where I mean, no, however, that I as Dr. Horrible says, some guys... Eventually. For, you know, neglect the laugh. And that's just not right, you know. You really got it. You have to work on the laugh. An evil laugh is part of who you are as an evil person. Just you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. Yay, more dark side points. Um now, I believe if I come this way and then cut south, cut south. I mean, if we're, if we're honest to Drondrian, it's not really any different than the value of, uh, it's not really any different than the value of, uh, of gold in Pathfinder, D&D, &D, or anything else. Like... The average person makes no, basically no money and can live comfortably, but a uh, an adventurer 
and Adventurer's Gear is ludicrously expensive. It's obviously, I mean, it's basically the same as health insurance in, uh, in the real world. It's expensive because they can get away with charging that kind of money. If people refused to pay it, stuff would get cheaper. But we keep paying them whatever ludicrous price they ask for. What do you want? My memory is that you actually get less experience for handling for answer, handling this wrong, but since I've at this point basically memorized how to do it, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, exactly, Drondrian. It was definitely interesting the first time around trying to figure out, you know, all the clues and whatnot. But once you've done it once, I mean, that's it. I also appreciate that unlike most of the puzzles in this game, they actually do incentivize you to find the correct solution. Because you get less experience for doing that. It's also one of the few that you can legitimately just say, Nope, I'm not going to do it, and it goes away. You don't get a chance to do it later. You either accept it now, or you don't do it at all. The only way to avoid it is to not walk up to this guy in the first place. I mean, that's my preferred solution. Insert lightsaber into problem. Just like my preferred lockpicking solution is insert lightsaber into problem. Wait, I mean lock. Whatever, same thing. Cloudy today. I always forgot that that's where they mentioned that it was cloudy today. I mean, your character sort of fills in that uh, detail, but I always forgot that's where it got brought up for the first time. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the only problem it doesn't solve eventually is people being alive. As long as that's people being alive at the end is the solution that you want. If people being alive is the problem, then inserting a lightsaber fixes it very nicely. Unless it's Malik, in which case it sort of fixes it, but only very eventually. Um, I will begin my investigation at once. Yeah, yeah, they're both injured somehow or other. Oh, that obviously that makes sense. Yeah, I'm actually having a hard time right now thinking of a problem that inserting a lightsaber somewhere doesn't solve. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Tell me what happened. I was out hunting Iriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs It's interesting that he was hunting Iriaz, but I've never seen an Iriaz in this game. So, what do you want to know? This is the other thing I would... The, only, the other thing about this 
quest is that you have to you basically have to ask everybody every question. Well, I was out hunting Eria south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an Eria as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. I want to ask you something so, else. What do you want to know? Why I told you again? already, didn't I? Was hunting some areas. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before, I shot and pow, went down. When I come over here, there's hand standing over the I gotta say, this guy's excuse clearly very poorly thought out. So can I go now? I wanna ask something else. What do you want to know? The look said you were limping. Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Now listen, I've sprained my ankle before. You don't do you don't I don't think you can do that running through a bush. No, actually, that's all. Right. Uh. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him with this problem. I am an information. Hello, droid. You are the only person here. I'm actually happy to talk to. Records of both the Jedi and Clay and the central government facilities here on Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Goldenetic, Ricard Lusoff, and Handan Gold. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Nettick. Is there any information you require? Yes. What did you find My out about the body? The analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about these planes. These planes are with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Calf hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. That's a lot. Can we, can we just three days ago, talk about how 35 in 14 days is a lot? And holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Uh, I'll have more questions later. 35 in 14 days is a lot, a lot. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Uh, why? <clears throat> well, then I assure you, on my reputation, I had nothing to do with the killing. I will help you with the case as best I can, though. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there. And all of a sudden, I heard a shot coming from I mean, right? I ran over and found this man, Calder, lying on the ground, dead. Uh, did you see the kid? Come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. And I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. All right, well, let's talk to you assistance? a little more. What did you say? Actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Baloo came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. How can I be of further assistance? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. I'm sorry I don't have much to say right now. It's just that there's nothing to talk about. Yes, quite often. This I is long and boring, and there's speech. nothing I can do healthy to make it go faster, really, healthy mind, as I always say. without skipping all the dialogue, which would kind of... Defeat the purpose. No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. 
<laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. These guys are both so incredibly, like, sketchy. I'm just saying. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. All right. But Luke, I want to discuss the murder. Yeah, then he totally falls apart, right? Like, Rickard is totally, uh, like, falling apart from the beginning. And then Hamden falls apart the instant you talk about the injury. Actually, they both fall apart when you ask about them being injured, if we're honest, because the whole, like, sprained his ankle on a bush thing sounds bullshit also. It's like they never thought about the fact that their injury might be a problem in proving their innocence. Alright, Rickard is lying. It was cloudy. There could not have been sun glare. Yay, move on to part two. Which is part two? Motive. Is there any other information you need? What can you tell me about Calder and Handed? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gold. Is there any other information you need? What can you tell me about Calder and According Rickard? According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Nope, that's Very it for well. now. I will be here to assist you. So, what do you want to know? Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in Garang is a good name. I might use that for a, as a place we name sometime. Find the way we are. So, what do you want to know? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit to ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Right. Uh, I wonder. I hope maybe that's enough. We'll How see. How can I be of further assistance? But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you, it isn't. I dislike Calder. True, I would punch his face in given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Uh, my wife is cheating. Hey, look, his wife is cheating. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But I gotta say, as much as I may hate him for that. I could not kill him. Uh, Calder seems like apparently he was kind of an asshole, and I'm really not sorry not he's dead, and I wouldn't be sorry if either of these guys were dead either. Clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Now, see, I never said anything about stalking him to kill him. You are the ones that are putting. You are the one putting those words in my mouth. 
Just saying. Of course, of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Oh, got stuck for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hand in his line. Now focus on the money. Yeah, yeah. Moving on. So, what do you want? What about the weapon? Blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichani's make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Alright, that's all for now. Right. Eh. All right, come on. Yeah. Candorous. <laughs> yes. Stop being a problem. How can I be of further assistance? That what do you know about the weapon? Stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cat hounds around. Even an eerie ass can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be a further assistant? Now see, that was a pretty good bluff check he just made. It injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? That one, not so much. <laughs> I run, I don't know if I mentioned it. That's all for now. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist. Do, do, do. Is there any other information you need? Is there a report of his flash being sold? But I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. Yeah, honestly, Purple, there's awkward silence on on the stream in general because I just have nothing to say right now. This is a pretty, like, I th there's there's nothing to be said here except that uh, I just need to finish solving this mystery which is not much of a mystery because I've done it a million times all right well look I want to discuss the murder uh, the blaster's hand -ins. he lied about it being stolen. Let me save for a second. Can I go ahead and... Nope. Oh wait, actually. I need to talk to the information. Tell me about the blood I sample. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Calder's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? That seems like weirdly specific information to be able to get if it's corrupted, like, shouldn't they just be able to get no information at all out of it? Uh, 
No, I'm sorry, Purple. Uh, I don't even think I need to speak to Handon, actually. I think I can just defuse him. Pushing his side. Yeah, I don't even have to talk to him. I just have to talk to the droid. Hey, what are you doing? I have a question here. Why do blaster wounds bleed if a lightsaber wounds do not? Aren't they made out of the same thing, basically? I'm really not clear on that. Nope, they are both guilty. Rickard thought Calder was cheating him in business. Yes, exactly. It should cauterize. So it shouldn't bleed? Why is there blood? Oh yeah, yay, we're done. They both wanted to shoot him, but only one of them managed to do it successfully. So one of them goes to jail for murder, the other one goes to jail for attempted murder. Yay, we're done. Yay, done. And fade to black. No, because one of them did actually kill him. I don't remember who. I wasn't paying attention just now or reading it. I th think, yeah, Handon killed him, and then Rickard shot Handon. So there is at least one count of actual murder. Oh, I, or actually, if what you're talking about is two counts of attempted murder on uh, Rickard, maybe. Oh. This is what I get for touching my headphones when there are controls on them. Yeah, no, exactly. Okay, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I guess... Or one count of... Or possibly... Well, it wasn't really attempted murder on the site. Well, maybe it was one count of attempted murder and one count of assault. This is private property. By what authority are you assault with a deadly weapon. Something like that. In the name of the council, I demand you let me in. We wish no trouble with the Jedi Council. You have left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances... I it's all good, Purple. Go Feel free to just enjoy watching. Yay, go inside. Derp a derp. I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I feel great sorrow at the young Metallier's disappearance, but they are not the only family to suffer such a tragedy. Dantooine is a dangerous place. My own son, Cassus, has been missing for some time now. But I know nothing about the disappearance of Shen. 
Perhaps he and Cassus now share a similar fate. This guy is so full of shit. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. This guy isn't telling us something. He might even be lying. I don't trust him. I trust you Smart. will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. I'm not really afraid of your security droids, dude. They're just droids. Not even particularly good ones. You are here from the council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Do you know something about Shen's disappearance? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He is not thinking rationally. Uh, does this happen to you? My father is a good man. When my mother died, he Shen's raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. Uh, what has he done? understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no Stop making excuses, woman, and just tell me. Even my father's authority is not absolute. Just, yeah, exactly. Quit stalling and get to the point. Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Ooh. Lust for vengeance is a great phrase. He should definitely act on whatever that is. Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take oh, I see. You gotta cover your own ass. unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make- Sure, you care so much. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Fine, I'll go. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Yeah, we were. And now, guess what? I'm gonna put lightsabers in things. Though actually I'm mostly gonna put lightning in things, but you know. Lightning, lightsabers, it's basically the same thing, right? I mean, even the words are similar. The lightning and things. Hello. Hello, Mr. Droid. Goodbye, Mr. Droid. Ooh, finally a double. Hello. I think this is Rahasia's room. Nope. This one? I need to know that for later. I can't remember where it is. Maybe it's around the corner? Alright, have fun, Purple. I'll look for your video. Yeah, there's Rahasia. Oh, Adrondrian. Uh, what are you trying to... Are you trying to use OBS? Or something else. Hey, look, a door. All right. Uh, what you need is the stream key. If you go to uh, YouTube and go to your uh, what? and log into your account, and then um, go to the in the top right-hand corner where there's like your little icon. 
go to click on that and then go to the creator studio in the creator studio there was a, a tab called live streaming if you go to the bottom there is a uh, thing that says encoder setup that's the info that you need who are you what do you want with me are you working for my father I am here to rescue, rescue you me. no I won't leave it's too dangerous I'll protect it's you. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. If you don't come with me, I will drag you out. If you do that, I'll scream my head off and alert all the guards in the house. The only chance you have is to talk Rahasia into leaving. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandral doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Ugh. I will go speak to Rahasia. Thank you. I wish you luck. This fucking Romeo and yes. Juliet bullshit. I hope that helps, uh, Drondrian. Have you found Shen yet? Come with me, Rahasia. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as... Yeah, yeah. You're gonna meet us outside the gates. All good. Go talk to Shen. I like how we can just walk around this mine. Have you spoken to Rahasia? Oh, uh, or Zalbar can step on it. Yes. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Yay, Shay, now we get to the fun part. You're safe. Rahasia. Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. Yeah, Shin's father promised me a reward. What? You, you're just doing this for the reward? How could you? I thought you... Nice. Glad to hear it. Let me know when you're gonna, uh, when you're gonna stream. Because, uh, you know. Father, Mr. Matali. I'd like to come by. Rahasia. Father. Mr. Sandril. Yurik. What is with this dialogue, by the way? Just everyone saying everybody's name? You, you. What the, who wrote that dialogue? Taken my from me long who at Bioware said, that. Yeah, we are Stop the company it. known for writing excellent dialogue. Excuses. Let's put this in there. Will get revenge for your transgressions. Uh, why don't you just shoot each other and get it over with? No, Father, don't do this. We don't always need to be fighting like this. It's gone too far for that, Rahasia. Alan has crossed it's great. the line one too many times. <laughs> your, your favorite part is the part where they go, Mr. Sandril! I will see you dead and <laughs> the ground. Rahasia! Mr. Matale! Yeah, no, greatest piece of dialogue. You're, you're totally right. What was I thinking? Well, let's see. The only way either of you will end this is with blood. I'm glad somebody finally said what we've all been thinking. No, don't! This... this has all gone horribly wrong somewhere. Arlen, what can we be thinking? How could we have let this go this far? We are at each other's throats now, fighting over our children's lives when they are older... Since when do you start own? acting like a reasonable human my being? son! How can he disrespect my wishes like this? Wait, what am I... what am I waiting on? How how the fuck can they come to their senses? It's not allowed. Fuck it. Lie. You know what? You know, Nurik, Alan actually did kill Cassus. <laughs> what? No, no. I never did anything to your son. I I knew you were lying, you dog. Yes. It might not have been Kill each other. I'll take your son from you. Father, no, don't do it. Die. 
Yes! Murder time! Ah! Kill them! Kill them all! Literally, we get to have the greatest piece, the line, greatest line we get to say in this game, just about, which is just kill them, kill them all. Die! Yeah, that was hysterical, right? I provoke them, and they get, and they come to their senses. The master has been injured. Terminate all opposition. Everyone dies. Everyone dies. I love it. Yay, that was easy. Now, if only the only thing that would make that better is if I got to loot them. But even so, that was pretty great. See, you were talking about how terrible this mission is, but look how much fun that was! Right, Mandalorian Raiders. Fuck, I should do that. I love that, though, that they come to their senses if you provoke them. In the future, if I'm doing a light side path, I might provoke them just to see if, uh, if that still works. Oh, you hate- why do you hate everything? Oh, is it because uh, if you try to be a good guy, they just get worse? Doopa do more Mandalorian. Hey you guys. Don't mind me. Just lose your minds, please. Quietly if possible. That'll show you Yeah, no, I mean, actually, it's actually super easy. To get away with it, because you can, I don't know if you've ever done it, but you can actually find Cassus' body uh, in the plains near the Matale Rever residence and, like, prove that uh, whatever his name is, Alan had nothing to do with it, the Matales. And that makes it pretty easy, honestly, to get nobody to die. But it's still kind of bullshit. Now, I really don't know what Mandalorians I'm missing. I mean, I'm sure I'm missing some, I just don't know which ones. Oh, ah, so this I guess it's these. The meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber. Yeah, getting my people own. to work along. Now you will to work along, to work together. Not the easiest thing in the world. Also, I very rarely try because uh, my way is more fun. Everyone dies. Well, this was easy. Hey, more lightsabers. Too bad there's no point even me- I mean, I could literally walk around unarmed and it would make no difference. Could have really been putting points in Persuade all this time and I didn't. That was probably dumb.
I also need to start remembering to turn off Steam notifications. Oh well. Um. Speed. Let's take speed. Hey, speed! And the game gets very blurry. Well, that was easy. They're not fighting people over there, are they? Yeah. Woo! Everything is blurry! Kill more cat hounds! Hey, I think that's actually his stuff. Yep, Cassus Diary. Chani Light Armor, nice. Who'd they kill back there? Where are they? Oh, they're fighting a horned cat hound over there. Well, let's see. I should... run back and turn in this Mandalorian quest. I think. Yeah, probably. There we go. The lightning, speed that up. Yeah, the fact that somebody spilled water all over my screen is very annoying. Whoa, whoa, all the blur, all the blur. Have you found the Mandalorian? Like, I, I gotta say, I love this game to death. That is the worst motion. That is the worst implemented motion blur in any game ever. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. What? That's it? Give me more. What? I did not think the Jedi were so greedy. You seem almost Mandalorian. I thank you for what you have done for me, but I have nothing else to give. The Council will hear of your deeds and your greed. Mm, I'm okay with them hearing about my greed. Not like they're going to do anything. Unfortunately, I now have to take someone out and put Basla in. That said, I don't have to like it. What? Huh? I'm here. Basla, you can auto level up, and you need to be set to Jedi support. What? And then you can just be. God damn! Still with the motion blur. Let's just make it last even longer, shall we? Yay! Prepare for the game to look like this as often as possible. Alright, no, this is getting really... I'm getting really tired of this. There's seriously not a thing for turning off motion blur? Oh, that sucks.
I mean, yeah, obviously I could mod it, but... Fuck it? I mean, I could also just run around slowly. Hey, it's Ratakan Ratanaka? Ratakana? I don't remember the name of this language. What is that language? Is that Gamorian? It can't be, because I speak Gamorian. Droid must be broken. The droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. There we go. Tellcat. Hey! Best language. The language of stabbing. I understand the language of stabbing and also Selkath. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? The one who came before. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. I gotta say, how is it that the Council has just left? They're like five feet from the uh, the Enclave, and the Council has seriously not sent anyone in here except Nemo, who died. Also, what the fuck kind of Jedi Knight was Nemo that he died that easy? <laughs> I mean, if I can take down these things, Nemo should have had no trouble. Also, I kind of like this angle, because that ass, yo. Uh, what is the Starforge? You don't really know what it is, do you? The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, it could be anything. Uh, maybe it has nothing to do with the Sith. Our was clear. We saw Revan and Malak speaking of the Starforge. I'm certain it is somehow connected to the Sith's sudden rise to power. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. How long have you been here? Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. There must be some mistake. Hey, no problem. Just let me know if you want uh, help with testing. Thanks for stopping by. I, I appreciate the company. These builders must have been an extinct people, though it is strange there's no record of their existence. Even the archives have fun. of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. Thank <laughs> you. 
If they are worthy, well, I can I guarantee you that I'm worthy. His rope kind of looks like a giant dick between his legs like that. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. Uh, how can I prove myself worthy? Because I don't really care if he killed Jedi or not. Yeah, they unlocked the sealed door because this is the easiest little, like, puzzle in the world. Legitimately, the easiest one. The only difficult far part... Fart. The only difficult fart. Farts are often difficult. No. The only difficult part is the, uh... Droids we have to fight in here. <laughs> and the droids are not very difficult. As you may have noticed by the fact that that one is dead already. Da 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 da, talk to the computer. Insert your data pad. Talk to the computer. Hey, now I can speak my language. Three primary life giving seed world types. This is obvious. This is the easiest thing in the damn world. Pick the three types that actually have animal or plant life. Oceans, yes. Grasslands, yes. Deserts, no. Volcanoes, no. Barren, no. Arboreal, which is forests, yes. Hey, guess what? That was super easy. Let me loot that droid. Let's go do the other one. Hey, guess what? It's That one was the life seal. This one's called the death seal. I wonder what the answers to this question will be. Probably the same damn thing. Hmm, should have stunned it first, apparently. Let's make this quick. This carbonite thing, not my favorite. So be it. There we go. Hoopadoo, same thing. Talk. Insert data pad. Talk. Desert, volcano, barren. Yay! Walk through the doors. Oh wait, yeah, I can, I can loot ne Oh, I can get some real robes for once! Yay! Jedi Knight robes. Oh wait, what? Have I gotten full dark? No, almost. Whoop. There we go. Cutscene-ish sort of thing. Run faster. What are you talking about, crazy lady? This is a, a map. 
We could use this map to follow their path and find the Starforge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. Okay. I, I don't know, but Revan and Malak were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more. Or perhaps they know nothing because they're be useless. Finding the Starforge, whatever it is. See this world here. This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashyyyk and Tatooine and his Manath. There are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data, and there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Starforge itself might be. And yet somehow you think that it's going to. I was thinking Perhaps those worlds have more clues. This map can't take us to the Starforge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Starforge. And some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action. Though I suspect our task has only just begun. Yay! Finally done with this planet. And now we finally get out of the part of this fucking mission where we're basically on rails. Now we can sort of do stuff in whatever we order we want, go wherever we want. Very nice. Let's return to the Ebon Hawk so that I don't have to run the long way. Oh, Basilon wants to talk to me. You look like something's bothering no, you. Not bothering me. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. Droid, stop fuck freaking out. I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Hmm. Fuck it, let's flirt. I think you're interested in more than just the bond between us. Please. I'm a Jedi. Such feelings, such attractions are well they're beneath me, quite frankly. Oh no, fuck off. I find you intriguing. I I mean, I find your command of the Force intriguing, but my interest in you is purely academic. Surely you can understand why. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Okay. I was referring to the bond we share. The one the Jedi Council spoke of. If I was actually interested in you, rest assured, I could come up with a much better approach than this. Well, I guess I touched a nerve there, huh? Touched a nerve? No. Getting on my nerves, most definitely. I suppose this is what you men consider being witty. Oh, ow, that hurts. Or would you rather just keep annoying me? Fine, I'll answer questions. Don't worry, these are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? I'm a hut in human form, plotting to overthrow the Republic. I see you intend to be childish about this. I guess I won't get anywhere continuing our discussion right now, will I? I suppose I'll just have to speak to you again later. Hopefully you'll behave a little less like a little boy, and a little more like a... like a man. What? Ooh! There's something you want to ask me? How did you know? Oh, well, you keep staring at me. See anything you like? You are easily the vainest, most arrogant man I have ever met. Besides, I know you can't be serious, since I was purposefully not staring in your direction. Ooh. I am a Jedi, remember? I have far too much mental discipline to reveal what goes on inside my mind with such obvious physical clues. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I, I mean, whatever I feel... I mean, whatever I think about you. Oh, you're so cute when, you are, when you're embarrassed. I... That is you. Why must you be so impossibly infuriating? <laughs> you know very well what I am really talking about. I am referring to the bond between us, the one the Jedi Council spoke of. Our connection allows us glimpses into each other's mind. We can feel some of what the other feels, and what I feel within you troubles me. A Padawan must receive considerable training. They must learn to control their emotions and darker impulses. Often it takes years before using the Force can be considered safe. 
The fact that you are so strong in the Force and have had such relatively little training could have terrible consequences for you and for everyone around you. I certainly hope so. Uh, I don't think mastering my emotions is necessary. You know, Self-control is a maxim for all Jedi. Good thing I don't plan on being a Jedi. The strength to resist the dark side. All who have fallen from our order have shown a flagrant disregard for such control. Already you exhibit the kind of willfulness, erratic behavior, and lack of compassion that will lead you to corruption. We must all resist the influence of the dark side. It's everything we are fighting against. This is doubly important for you, with your natural affinity for the Force. Why are you getting so upset? I'm sorry if I come across as harsh, but I am concerned for you, for our mission, and for myself as well. Our destinies are intertwined. Everything one of us does will have consequences for the other. Any reckless behavior on your part is likely to affect me as well. I won't do anything to hurt you. I believe you truly mean what you say, for now. But sometimes it is not so easy to keep such promises. Your power could be a gift or a curse. When you need guidance or advice or support, I will do my best to help you stay on the path of the light. I doubt I'll be a risk to the mission. No, of course not. Not yet. But there will be challenges ahead that might make it otherwise. I only hope I have the wisdom to help you through the dark times. But for now, we should return to our mission. How can I help? Never mind. I suggest we move on. Moving right along. Moving right along. Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? Nope, not at all. What are you talking about? The Council must be told of what we found there. We found an incomplete star map, Master Vandar. And an ancient droid that mentions something about a star forge. This news of a star forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi archives to see if there's any mention of the star forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Fine. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. All right. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this star forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. So what you're saying is you're useless. Are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Doesn't Each seem... star map is <sighs> likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. It seems reasonable. Sounds like a suicide mission, though. Ever brash, ever disrespectful, this is what we have pinned our hopes on? Peace, Brook. We have discussed this. There is no other choice. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. Basically, you're saying everyone thinks that there are better sides than being with the Jedi, with you. including myself. Draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Good. Others will only slow me down. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith, but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two, a connection that might be the key. To unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. 
Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Uh, there are others I want to join me. Specifically just Candorous, if I'm honest, but... Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. Why should I risk my life to stop Malak? This was already explained to you. Your command of the Force makes you a threat to Malak. Eventually he will destroy you, and all the Jedi, unless you stop him first. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. All right. Let's sure trying to back. So actually, I want to just go to Evan Hawk. There we go. Goodbye, Dantooine. Uh, let me see if I can talk to Candrus again. Yeah, what do you want? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. <laughs> what do you mean? If the world isn't strong enough to defend itself. It's basically forfeit. But this story... It's about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew Ooh. out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. What happened? The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most. Maybe a dozen meters on the side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside Interesting. That. What happened it next? It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire. Thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. A we ship. couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Hmm. 
Nothing more right now. All right. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it a few minutes early tonight. I've got a few things I need to take care of. But thanks, thank you, everybody that came by for stream. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you did, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, if you, if you're, if this is your first time by, just so you know, my streaming schedule is every Wednesday, Eyes of the Old Republic every Sunday, uh, Shadow of Mordor every Friday, uh, Brutal Legend, all from six to eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, at Starting on the 10th of October, I'll be doing a one a one week launch event for the launch of Shadow of War. I will be streaming, at, which will take the place of all my regular streams. I will be streaming every single day for at least, at least a little bit uh, for the new Shadow of War game sequel to Shadow of Mordor. So that playthrough will be finishing before that launch, and then that one week event will be happening starting the 10th. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. Until next time, have a good night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Until then, I'm out! <laughs>